This video is on the non-adjustable errors of the sextant. Uh, my previous video has discussed the adjustable errors of the sextant and I will provide you uh, with a link uh, of that video along with this video. I am also going to be making a separate video on index errors. Uh, so how to calculate index errors and what are index errors and I will provide you a link of that video as well. Alright, so these are non-adjustable errors of the sextant. So non-adjustable errors are those errors that result due to manufacturing or damage. Uh, you cannot determine these errors and you cannot adjust for these errors. So if you find these errors, you have to send it to the manufacturers or you have to show, send it ashore for um, checking. Sometimes you may have to just uh, include these errors uh, and it may result in uh, in the index error which you have to incorporate uh, uh, into every section altitude uh, that you measure using these uh, these errors all right so anyhow uh, the adjustable errors are those errors uh, that you can determine and you can correct i have made a video on that and these errors are non-adjustable errors which result due to manufacturing and damage uh, manufacturing errors or damage uh, by the user and uh, there are uh, different types of non-adjustable errors so let's start with it before i just waste any more of your time all right so non-adjustable errors are seldom present in top quality modern day sections but are often inherent of cheaper brands however remember you may have a very good quality section with you but if you don't take care of it these non-adjustable errors might start to creep in. So you must take errors uh, care of the sextant. Although it might be a very expensive or very fancy sextant, doesn't mean that these errors will not occur. You have to take care of it. All right, so let's start with these errors. So the first error is centering error. And the spelling is incorrect. I should have checked it. So it should be C-E-N-T-E-R-I-N-G. So I apologize for it. So centering error is caused uh, due to the pivot of the index bar of the sextant not being coincident with the center of the circle of which the arc is a part. Alright, so the index bar center, his pivot is not central to the arc and this occurs only if it's poor manufacturing or too much wear and tear on the bush on which the index arm is moving. Alright, so the it will lead into errors, uh, radius errors throughout readings on the arc and the errors may be positive or negative. The second type of error is called prismatic error. This is again a non-adjustable error. This occurs when the faces of the shade glasses and mirrors are not parallel. So the, if the face of the index mirror and its shades or the, or the uh, face of the horizon mirror and glass and its shades are not parallel, then prismatic errors will occur. Uh, these errors result in light rays being reflected and refracted. So that means is that the image of the celestial body that you will see then through the telescope of the sextant will then be uh, error. So it will trick you into thinking the altitude of the celestial body is different. All right, the, because more of the refraction will take place through these shade glasses, uh, the more the eyes are then tricked into thinking that the celestial body altitude is different from what it actually is. The third error is shade error. Shade error occurs when the shade glasses and the surfaces of the shade glasses are not parallel to each other or they are bent so what happens is with the index mirror or the horizon mirror you have shades given and the reason shades are provided to you is because when you are obtaining a sextant altitude of the sun the sun is so bright you need to use some of these shades it's better to use the, the lesser the number of shades the better it is because then it results in lesser refraction but if these shade glasses are not parallel to each other and that may be again due to damage or it may be due to a manufacturing error then shade error will occur and again it will result in the light rays being deflected and refracted so what this means in layman's language is when you are observing a celestial body altitude through the telescope because these shade glasses are not parallel to each other the light which will get refraction refracted into your eyes will then trick your eyes into thinking that the altitude of the body is something else than what it is Alright, so you are able to see a body only when the light from the image of the body is refracted into your eyes. So if the shade glasses are not parallel to each other, 
this refraction will lead you into tricking you that the celestial body is altitude or the altitude of the body or the angle of the horizontal section angle or vertical section angle is something different the last one is graduation error and this graduation error occurs due to inaccurate graduation of the main scale on the arc of or of the micrometer or one year scale so if the arc main arc principal arc or the micrometer or the one year scale are not correctly calibrated and markings are incorrectly spaced or not properly marked then graduation error may occur this will result in errors may be noted on the one year scale if the first and last markings are not 100% aligned with the micrometer drum markings so if you see the one year scale and when you are obtaining altitude of the celestial body or uh, horizontal section angle or vertical section angles uh, you get degrees of the principal scale and you get minutes of the micrometer scale and then you get decimals of a minute or seconds of the one year scale so the markings of the one year scale must coincide with some marking of the micrometer drum if you find that none of these markings are coinciding that is an indication that such a graduation error occurs because that will mean that you will not be able to read the one year scale now for those of you who are watching this video for the first time you have not watched any of my other videos please note that there are separate videos on parts of the sextant there are separate videos on reading the sextant on horizontal sextant angle vertical sextant angles and celestial body altitudes and uh, all those videos refer to the terms that i am using so if you are not familiar with the parts of the sextant do not watch this video first please watch parts of the sextant first because the terms that i am using such as micrometer scale principal scale and one year scale you will not understand these terms if you have not watched my previous video so you have to be very familiar with the sextant parts of the sextant before you watch this video all right so these are the five different uh, non adjustable errors of a sextant that cannot be corrected that cannot be determined you have to send it to the manufacturer so if you find these errors you cannot do anything either you can correct it or you can allow for it like i said sometimes even after correcting all the adjustable errors you still have some index error which is the residual error left and that may be because of the non adjustable errors uh, normally if uh, you are getting a brand new sextant these errors should not be there or sometimes a certificate in the sextant box gives values for the total remaining fixed errors at different points along the arc if you open the sextant box you will see someday i will put up a video about a section box as well you can see what a section box looks like and what is uh, what all is available to you inside that box anyhow if the errors are still remaining after correction after all everything after the manufacturer has given it to go you must apply to the residual error which is the index error found once the corrections have been made so if you cannot correct for these errors then you have to basically allow for it so that basically means that if you obtain a section altitude you have to apply the error which may be on the arc then it will be subtracted and if it's off the arc you add the error and that will give you the corrected observed altitude obtained through the sextant so guys if this is the first video you are watching in the sextant series please do not do so watch my other videos because here i have kind of assumed that you are familiar with uh, these various terms that are associated with the sextant i will provide you with the links on all those videos with this video as well please watch those videos and then come back and watch this video this video only focused on non adjustable errors of the sextant so hope this video helped and i'll see you soon with my next